I'm testing this. I'm not really sure what's happening with it. So um, I'm, I don't know whether I'm live now or in seven minutes. It says that I was going to go live in seven minutes, but now it, it asked me if I wanted to publish it, and I said yes. So we may soon get a video of Ken backing. So <laughs> I'm going to go over to the computer and see if I can pull up anything, although nobody's watching us. But I'm going to go see if there's anything happening. Because I can't tell. On what? I don't know. <coughs> My own page, YouTube. I don't know if you know how to get to it. A YouTube? on where? We're live on YouTube, but it's also on my page. So I can Do you see that. me? What? Do you see me? Uh, yeah, I do. Oh, uh-oh. Uh so I'm going to start, I'm going to share your page because we have stuff to show. We do? Yeah, we do. I didn't see any back there. Yeah, but we do. So you want me to go run and get it? Okay, so where is this fabric at that we want to show? It's over there by the boutique room. Boutique room. Okay. Rachel. And Ken. And Ken. Here he goes. We weren't really expecting this to work, so I didn't have it ready. I've been struggling with this whole um, YouTube and Facebook, and we think we may have found a workaround. So, uh, uh, thanks. Of course, the phone's ringing. It hasn't sure. run for the last two hours. Okay. And uh, we have fabric to show you if it's rain. Tell them I'll be ready in half hour. Okay. No, that's not who I need. Okay, this yeah, is, um, take, yeah, it, take it in the back, please. Uh, this is Rachel, and then Ken just answered the phone, and we will be showing you some of our fabrics. We've been having nothing but trouble trying to get Facebook to show you our stuff, and it has something to do with Facebook creator and publisher, and we don't really know what all the problem is, but it just happened, and it has to do with permissions. So, anyway, we're working on it. We're going to hopefully get it to um, be streaming into YouTube so more people will be seeing us and then we'll go into Facebook. And so hopefully a bunch of you will still find us on Facebook. 
Um, so we're going to start by showing you some of our fabrics, and we'll be running. I'll be running back to the back to get some more that I know need to be. Are you me? Well, you, mm -hmm. you can talk. Okay. Okay, I got dogs. Uh, a variety of dogs. Let's get close enough so you can see these dogs. We got we got blue dogs and brown dogs, and furry dogs and pink dogs and and more blue dogs. Um, I'm sure somebody's out there saying that's my that's my variety. Um, but uh, anyway, it's on a bright on, on a very light uh, <clears throat> yellow, um, almost like a with 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 uh, cream uh, variegations variations um, and so uh, those of you making a dog something or other or if you want to make a mask for your dog um, I don't know if dogs <laughs> can catch the COVID or not but this is a pets number 20 it's $9.99 a yard and it is from Mia Claro Mia Cl company. floral blend, pets blend, blend. Blended, blended, blend fabrics. Okay, here we go. Uh, here we go. This is trains. People have asked us for trains, and uh, we need to train you guys that are on Facebook to actually come on and see it because we're not going to have as many views until we train them to look for this. Train them with the trains. Yes. Here you go. Here's trains at nine ninety nine a yard, and this is Hobbies thirty two. So Hobbies thirty two and nine ninety nine a yard. Isn't that awesome? This train fabric. Okay, so enjoy this train fabric. It's beautiful. It's snowing in Wyoming, not here in Florida. Yes, it turned to September here in Florida, <clears throat> which means it's going to be 90 degrees. Uh, it has been 90 degrees. But anyway, this is a Hoffman print, digital kind of printing uh, with snowflakey, frosty looking. It reminds me of trying to look out your window at your house. <clears throat> on one of those bitterly cold days. Uh, yes, we're talking bitterly cold days in September in Florida. Hoffman print number 30. This coordinating print would go good with uh, the call of the wild is a Hoffman thing and this, the uh, big old uh, polar bear. Yeah. This would be a great coordinating with that or the coordinating with the uh, cardinals. Uh, so Hoffman print. Okay, guys, make sure you invite your friends if they, uh, we happen to change the way we're doing this. So it's going on YouTube first and I'm sharing it onto Facebook. So we're going to try to get some more of YouTube followers. So here we got some gnomes in. People have been asking for gnomes. And We've got eight people. Good job. These are on YouTube. It's our first time trying to get YouTube. We couldn't get it to post to Facebook. So YouTube, here we go. Um, YouTube um, gnomes. Are they cool? And they're on white, and then I have gnomes on green. Okay, gnomes on green. These Why are. Why they spell it with a G? I just to confuse you, because you confuse easily when it comes to spelling. Well, okay. I'm trying to do a search for. Are you leaving? I'm leaving. Okay, bye, Sandy. Sandy's leaving. Sandy missed all you guys today who couldn't come in. Nobody came, Nobody came today to our sewing shop. So anyway, gnomes. Gnomes won. Okay. Genome. Genome, yeah. They're gnomes with a G. Okay. <coughs> there you go. Now we're up to 10. I hate trying to search for things on the internet because they're so <laughs> spelling specific. I got little birds here. Uh, once again, <coughs> it's a Hoffman print, digital print, birds sitting on limbs in the snow. Uh, <coughs> is that a wren? It's not a cardinal. And it's not a robin. It's a bird. Okay, a snowbird. Uh, but anyway, it's a winter scene with his little branch and everything. Uh, so, uh, Hoffman, number 28. Okay, here we go with a um, really cool little Florida print. This is has uh, fish and stuff in the water. And so we call this Florida. I don't know if we have any of these fish in Florida. Those are or narwhals. Narwhals. And yes. We, one of these things right here. Uh, those are not this, narwhals. What, what's this? That's a, that's that's a, like a an sea octopus. An, sea anemone a or sea something. Sea anemone. Yeah, there's a pretty there's fish. So we have um, lots of really pretty. These ones are $9.99. Seahorse fish. Yeah. Florida, 71. 
$9.99 from Nemo Elizabeth Studios. There. Yeah, probably Nemo, but we found him. We found him. Shrimp, too. We found Nemo. I'm still messing with this snowy <laughs> print from Hoffman. Okay, this is uh, snowflakes, uh, ice, frost uh, on your windshield. Canadians, this is probably what you had to scrape off this morning. Uh, <clears throat> but it is a very light shade of blue Hoffman. 29. Once again, it's a 999 room. <clears throat> We're cleaning up the 999 room, making sure it's all going on the website so that everybody can see everything that we have in here. And this is a Irish shamrock. Can you see it up close? Let me see if I can get it up close. There you go. Shamrock. Okay. And these are 999. 999. And they're white on white Irish shamrocks. Oh, I can't wait. Ken got some really fun ones. I can't wait to hear him describe. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, well. <laughs> that looks like a spirograph. It's on a really bright white background. I well, can tell well. you that for sure. Oh, that's a creamy white. Creamy that's white. A, yeah, milky white. Milky boy, white. Your, your screen over there sure doesn't. That looks all gray on our screen. But in reality, uh, that's a very light purple and pink and a, a, a minty green here going on. And so. It's in the purple section because of that. Uh, <clears throat> it's only $5.99. Yeah, $5.99 for this. Uh, amazing. Paintbrush Studio. Purple. Two five five. Okay, here we go. This is a Wyndham Prince. And I'm not even sure how to describe this, but I think it's a, a floral. A cream color daisy on with a hot pink center. Those and it's called soft. Butter Okay, Butterfly Dance by Wyndham Fabrics. I don't, see any butterfly dance. I don't see any butterflies dancing either. And it's actually on a very dark navy. So this is in our blue section. <coughs> blue 338. And it's Wyndham. It's only five ninety nine a yard. Okay. Oh, and you got the flocks on green. I got <coughs> I got flocks on green, yes. Indeed. And yes, it's Wyndham. <coughs> and uh, if you don't like flocks, we can call it clover. Okay. Yeah, we, we can we can make it be Irish or something. Uh, but the the petal leaves are sort of a teal. The background colors an olive green with orange dots in the center. Um, and so it's in the blue green. Two eighty four. Okay, here you go. Uh, this one is in the dots in the cool. This is a really cool dot. Let me see if I can get it up close for you. Dots. This is a pink and a green dot on white. So this is a pink and a green dot on white. And this is dots 90. Dots 90. And this is by uh, Ruby Treasures by Barbara Eckmeyer for Paintbrush Studio. So it's five ninety nine dollars a yard. Dots. And this goes with what she just held up. More dots. I need to get really, really close because yeah, my dots still, still. are yellow dots with and purple. pink dots with, purple. Now we're up to 16. with hollow centers. And so the hollow center ones are Cheerios. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Um, but the background is white. white. Okay, bright white. But it's dots with holes in the middle. Which would make them be donuts. Yes. Okay. Yep. You've got enough time. Dots 91. <laughs> okay, this is a, a creamy milky white with a pretty lavender and maybe, uh, I guess you'd call it Caribbean. <coughs> Let me see if I can get it close. A Caribbean look. There. There we go. Caribbean. And this is a white 265. This is by Paintbrush Studio as well. So this one make a great white on um, low volume, low volume quilt uh, fabric. Okay, there you go. I got dominoes. Maybe, sort of. That's kind of what it looks like. Um, very tiny dots. Yeah, but they're all six and a two. No, they're different. Three, okay. two, yeah. threes, and sixes. Two, threes, and sixes. It's on a cream background anyway, and you have you have pinkish dots and then bluish dots and it's all 
1930s. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 1930s, number 70, and this is by Antique Treasures. Quilts. Yeah, it's a it's a part of Harlow. It's a pack that we used to have. Okay, here we go with some beautiful, beautiful uh, orange uh, kind of. Oh, let's see, a fab a flower that looks like it's in Hawaii. Okay, on lush green background. So this is green. Four twenty-three. That makes it five ninety-nine a yard. So it's five ninety-nine a yard, and it's gorgeous. These are available on the website right now. You don't have to wait until we're done. These are available if you want to go look. You have to type in quiltedtwins.com, and you have to go and you have to type in green and then two dashes and then four twenty-three. And I'll write it out for you and show you in a few minutes. We have been selling Halloween stuff like crazy here recently. The Christmas stuff too, but uh, Halloween. And I got some thing here that would go good with uh, a Halloween thing. Because we got orange uh, triangles with yellow accents. Um, orange 229. Um, and <clears throat> once again, this is uh, only $5.99 a yard. And it is Who's it by? for the burn, it's called Wilmington Prince. Okay, this is the way you would look that up. You would go orange dash dash 229 at quiltedtwins.com. So that's how you're going to find it. If you took orange and then two little short dashes and then the number that we read, that's how you're going to find it in the search feature. The search feature on the new website needs both dashes it used to just be you could put one little one so i need you to put in both of them and then you'll it'll show up okay you got you got dots i got more dots <coughs> these things are getting harder and harder to describe <laughs> you didn't tell they're me round. it would be that difficult they're round round but these dots have, like bows in them or something. they got in the navy blue background and then you've got most of them are white dots and then occasionally a green dot and then you got some dots with a blue doohickey with a, a, bow? a dark blue it, it might be a bow initially i thought it was somebody with sunglasses i did too i thought it was Minnie mouse um, <laughs> maybe Minnie mouse ears a uh, mouseketeer hat or something uh, on some of those dots but anyway there are some people who want to have dots of this size. The dots are about quarter inch, three eighths of an inch. Blue, three, three, nine. Okay, this is gorgeous. Here we go. This looks like a beautiful Civil War print. And this is by Renee Nanneman by Andover Fabrics. Now, I'm not sure how to describe it. I'll see if I can get a close up shot for you. There you go. Isn't that beautiful? There you go. Um, and this is a tiny little bird. There's a tiny little bird right there. And a tiny little red flower. Look, see how my thumb, my fingerprint? That's how small that is. Okay. And this is Civil War Tan 84. So if you can't, if you get lost on it, you can always type in Tan dash dash 84. I'm not sure how the Civil War is on there, but that'll show you several options and then you can find it. This is by uh, Renee Nanneman. You can also type in. Um, Andover, I think. I don't know. Right, with this website's so new, we're not sure what all is popping up right now. But keep trying. Here's some peach uh, background stuff. Um, looks like a ball of vines. Some people might think it was a tumbleweed. Just give an idea how 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 big it is. There's my finger in comparison to the to the off-white tumbleweed looking uh, thing. Uh, in comparison to my finger. Okay. I can also can see the color better. And yeah, that's that's it's more a, like the color. It's a peach. Peach, yeah. peach color, flesh tone. And this is in orange. Orange. Because we don't have a flesh tone section. We have orange. <laughs> yeah. Two to eight. Okay, here we go. This is really pretty. This is birds. Uh very reproduction. Let me hold it, uh, see if I can get a fuller paid fuller view of it. Maybe you could help me, Ken. I can use another arm, okay? That's so true. I just need to hold that up flower. so that people can see it. See, look, isn't you, that pretty? You've got. There you go. 
large pillars. Big, yeah, pillars. Pillars, Roman okay. columns. Yeah, with birds in there. Ionic. Birds in the middle. No, they're Corinthian. Okay. Yes, because they got the swirly, yeah, swirly doohickeys here. Okay, but yeah. I yeah. So this is an this should be in the reproduction. Got so birds yeah, too. we put in the Civil War, which is also holds the reproduction prints. Civil War tan eighty three. And this is by, it's called Cloverdale House by Andover. So it is tan 83. You have to put the dashes in there like I showed you earlier. So Civil War by Andover. Have some wire, some blue here. Um, blue with white speckles on it. That <laughs> kind of looks like, uh, initially it looks like a butterfly. But it turns out that that's like a flower petals there with white splotches around here. So um, this is this is uh, Ruth B. Teresa Pastel. Yeah. Uh, Maycower uh, from the United Kingdom. Blue. Two three seven. Okay, here you go. Look at this one. Isn't that pretty? Isn't that pretty with the blue-green? Blue-green background with coral and peach. Oh, this is a beautiful fabric. And this one is a Quilting Treasures fabric. And blue-green, $2.82. five ninety nine a yard. Just beautiful. It's only five ninety nine dollars a yard. So hurry on and get that one. Here are some white vines with white Botches. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. the vines themselves are a little dark. They almost look green. like balloons. But um, yeah, and the background color is a bright, light green. It's mint. Yes. Mint. Yeah. I uh, okay. I guess we'll call it mint. Uh, it's not a hunter green, that's for sure. But nevertheless, uh, green uh, for two two. This will wake you up. If you are thinking about sleeping this afternoon. It's time to wake up, guys. Wake up. Look at this beautiful red print. Wouldn't this make an awesome quilt back? Um, I mean, look at this. I'm going to hold it way up high so you can see, get the full effect of it. Man, that's beautiful. People want red and red and black a lot. So this is only $5.99 a yard. It is called Accent on Color by Fabric Quilt. And it is red, $2.53. So don't forget the red and then two little dashes. 253 $5.99 a yard. It's beautiful. Well, <laughs> okay. Well, you, picked, you, picked it, you picked it out of the well, bin. There are only three you more of them, the and the others are every bit as goofy as this one. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll start with the background color. It's a, it's a, a blender, sort of a storm cloudy blender. But then they put all these half circle thingies on it, um, and you know, then they cut their circles in half, and so we got some greeny, and then some darker green, limey, and 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 then some minty, and some here that almost looks like half of the planet Earth. It is what it is, okay, folks. It's it's uh, blue. It's it'll like blend. Rocks. Uh, I mean, it, dots it's or something. dots. It's called nature song. <laughs> nature song? <laughs> what in the world's it got to do with nature? I don't know. It yeah. looks like they printed it on some cloudy looking uh, background anyway. Maybe it's supposed to be planets that are floating under the sky. Okay, here's another one by Renee Nanaman. And this is beautiful as well. So I'm going to open it up so it doesn't have so many wrinkles on it. Renee Nanaman. Let me see if I can get... How far down do I have to go before I don't have so many wrinkles? Okay, well, no, we still got wrinkles. I just want you to be able to see. <laughs> you can tell what it looks like. Okay, there you go. Isn't it pretty? <laughs> if you just iron out the wrinkles, you'll have more fabric. Yeah, you will have more fabric. But this is a coral with a light Winsorwood blue. Ken doesn't iron. Yeah, I, he Ken doesn't iron. On a green, what color green? What, do you, what shade of green do you call that? Oh, my word. <laughs> We have so many different greens here. It's hard for me to know what shade that is. You want to see it up close? I'll take kind suggestions. Of a tealy looking green. No, yeah. No. Well, it's not really much blue in it, but I guess it's okay. Anyway, it's really pretty, and it's floral 
473. I would have considered putting it in a Civil War section. Yeah, I would have, but... Everybody's gone surfing. Yes. Surfing USA. Okay, yes, indeed. Surfboards. We got surfboards. You got a surfer in your life. Uh, best of luck with that. Um, but we got all kinds of surfboards here on this. Uh, on a green background. And, of course, it's in the beach section. Number 72 in honor of the beach boys, I guess. Yes, because it has to do with water. And it's what you wear, use when you're on the beach. Okay, here we go. Metallic. Metallic. 263 metallic 263 this is a tiny little metallic oh i don't know what are they G gold chain links kind of on a gold background okay so it gives you <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah something I, like that i go with that yeah okay and this is a paintbrush studio so it's only 5.99 a yard and that's the coat of mail. Yes, the, the coat of mail. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, we're in the middle of many trials trying to figure this whole thing out. We used to have no problem posting to Facebook. Now we're having nothing but problems. So I'm sorry, those of you who didn't get in on this show. Hopefully you'll watch the rerun or the link. And uh, But we're, we're not going to keep this going because we're still trying to make it better. But this has been Rachel and Ken for the Ken and Rachel Show with Quilted Twins. Make sure you can check out those fabrics now. You don't even have to wait for us to move them. They're ready now. So thank you very much.